poultry keeping is all about chickens and shop satisfaction. You should be proud of what you're doing and should be happy on an anniversary to tell I'm in chicken business and I'm doing this. So bird focused poultry farming, that's all about treat the birds on the best possible way. And understanding chickens better is a key to improve results and you have better results, you earn more money and you, then you are also very happy. Important question is always, how do we get the best out of everything? How do I know that the textbooks are working? So, and whether the chicken does agree or disagree? For usually it is a one-way direction. You do something and the chicken has to accept it, but most of the time they don't. A few years ago, I was here and I got the book, How the Chicken to Train Its uh, Humans. So maybe that's the Canadian approach, but I like more to be interactive. So take a step backwards and have a break. Many people are so involved in working all the time that they don't take the time to think all what they are doing. They take everything for granted. So open your mind for new things and be critical in a positive way. Train to look, look with awareness. So do not look, so I don't care. No, you look to be curious, be interested. I always say they're your partners and the partner, you're interested in your partner and not just use it. <laughs> Take a step backwards and be happy. Take skills to notice how they're doing and the consequences, everything. So seeing more by looking more closely, and especially with respect for the bird and attention. And if you look only technical information, then you're too late. At the end of the cycle, 5% mortality, that's it. But you have nothing changed about it. But it's better to do it before and have 4%. I'm not saying that's possible. Let's see. See more looking more closely. And if you run the risk of missing, the bird is talking to you. But if you don't listen, you have the same as the earphone. Where you speak, there's a, a lot of holes, and where you have to listen, there's only two, right? Just like an earphone. Look at the handle, this way. Talk, and no, not listening. Same as for all people. Put a chair in the house, or something else and take the time to talk to your birds. This is the way we like to do it in the Netherlands. You get not so, so tired from it, you get only dirty clothes from the dust. But take your time, watch your birds, and let the, let the chair inside. Invite other people, share your knowledge, ask them what are you doing, but do it not at the coffee table in the kitchen, but in the chicken barn. Share your opinion, always in the chicken barn. That's where it happens. So open your mind and also act accordingly. Use the signals, what I am seeing, hearing, smelling. Before you come to the chicken house, you can already hear, are they happy? You can, if you can come to the chicken house, you can smell if they have had no feed for the last day, your computer said they got some feed, but it didn't work. You can smell the main thing. So use all, everything you have. And what's happening? And what's the explanation? And what should I do? Can I leave it? Or should I take action? There are a lot of things, that we call it mistakes, but I always said, there's one mistake only in theory. There's a mistake that gives a lot of problems and there's mistakes you cannot change. You know, that's a nice word, that means unclassified noticeable observation. Maybe you pronounce a difference, but it has the same meaning. What do you see? This is a ferry, this is not artificial. What do you observe? Please. Is this normal? It is not, it is not poultry, as you can see. Yes, it's true, it's a cattle beast, but in fact, it is a bull. 
It is not a cattle beast, but it is a bull. And it's consuming a rabbit. What does it mean? There's another bull, another rabbit. What does it mean? Have you any idea? If you don't know, I have another example. There are moose eating Alex, but almost nobody eat, knows it for the same reason. What is it? They need phosphorus. They walk on the header, and the two vegetarians, the yeah, principal vegetarians, the cattle, and they are consuming rabbit corpses for they have a lack of phosphorus. They smell it, and they eat it. So watch it, learn from it, and I have stolen the idea from a PhD study in the Netherlands where they have a lot of hay, and they put the cattle on it, and it was a disaster. They get phosphorus deficiency, and they were eating dead corpses. Oh, they had, and, but what I don't like, not so many attention, for they push it down. <laughs> but I learned it from other people that moves do the same. They eat small uh, elk, almost when they, just before they start flying, then they, you can grasp them, they don't fly away, and they have a lot of phosphorus. Nature do much more than you think. Listen to your chickens. Not only this way, or you can do the other way around, but listen to it. Understanding chicken language is a key factor for improving poultry management. 